the video that you're about to see was filmed before a live YouTube audience on September 25, 2020. The results you may see could be a total masterpiece or a complete disaster. Well, if you guys are watching this video, you've probably obviously seen our title, uh, maybe read the description or seen the thumbnail. Uh, we're in Bogota, Texas, and we're completely live on YouTube right now. Uh, so it's September 25th. Uh, it's around, uh, it's 3.01 p.m. We were shooting for 3 o'clock, missed it by a minute. Uh, so me and Dad are about to try to attempt something that we've never really tried around the shop before. Uh, we've got a lot of will it runs under our belt where we're able to go back and edit them as we're going, you know, with trying to get these old vehicles up and running. Uh, we bought this, I guess you would just call it a, a Volkswagen Frankenstein uh, here recently from a gentleman. And it, it was just completely out of the ordinary, but right up our alley. Uh, we bought it. He, it wasn't running. He said he hadn't tried to mess with it or anything like that. But the cool thing about it is, is we were actually able to film us purchasing this vehicle. Uh, so we've got all that footage put together for y'all. We're going to flash back in just a second. So you'll get to meet the gentleman, uh, kind of get his backstory on what he knew about the old whatever you want to call it, uh, what we paid for it, and all that good stuff. So we're going to throw this video up there for y'all to watch it. I uh, hope you enjoy it, and then we'll be back here live. Here you go. Within the car community, it really doesn't take a long time to make some really good connections with some really nice people. Uh, today is a prime example of exactly that. Now I met this gentleman about a year on back and we've kind of bought and traded between each other ever since. Uh, recently we were able to purchase six BMW IZs off of him. So he was willing to bring two of them down. A little bit later we went to his house and picked up the other four. Uh, last night I received a text from him saying he had something that was exactly up our alley. Uh, so I looked at the pictures. I have to say it's very unique. I'm super excited to get over there and check it out a little closer. Hopefully we can close the deal and hopefully we can bring it home with us. Most of y'all that have seen any of our videos has noticed that if anybody mentions anything strange or out of the ordinary to Lance, he kind of gets a little twinkle in his eye. Uh, he's really fascinated by that kind of thing, whether it be a little micro car or a big Frankenstein looking ugly vehicle or whatever. If it's strange, Lance is interested. This vehicle we're going after, I haven't seen it yet, but as excited as Lance is, I'm pretty well gonna get excited too, I think, because he just loves that stuff and if it's, he's this excited, it's really gonna be something special. Hey man, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Man, you find all the cool stuff no one's looking for. <laughs> right, exactly, yeah. Man, that is right up our alley. I told Dad, I said, I don't even know what you would possibly call this thing or try. Category. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, like yeah. I was studying up on the pictures you sent over to me. I seen it's got little boats. You mind if I open it up? Or? Yeah, go ahead. Go little Volkswagen motor back here. I believe the brakes are even functional. Oh yeah? Yeah, they, they have a, the brakes up here still work. Wow. Our chains run down to two gearboxes. Huh. Yeah, the old single port motor. It's a Volkswagen cab too, ain't it? That's crazy. You got it. Driven off some chains, some gearboxes, I guess. A oh, little, little drive shafts. Right. That's pretty cool. Huh. It's, it's probably the, 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 <laughs> the first three-wheeler. It was just a Volkswagen. They didn't know it. Yeah. It still has the AM radio in it. Wow. Well, was there any kind of story you, you got with it? Was I using it for... Uh, they, uh, I actually bought it from the man's son-in-law. The man, the house was buried underground. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the, the, it was completely buried underground. All you could see was a chimney and a TV antenna sticking out. Hmm. And uh, he just, the, 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 his uh, son-in-law told me that he was just a master inventor. 
and he just spent a lot of time doing stuff like this. He had a big shop back there. He had a lot of things like this laying around there. Yeah. And this was this was just one of many. Huh. You know, I, I took all home that I could fit on my trailer. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, man, I try to follow you on Facebook because you're always finding something that intrigues me. Some well, people metal detector hunt, and this is what I do. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I live for this kind of stuff. Uh-uh. Yeah. I've done this since I've been in high school. Yeah. Well, I'm always looking. Every once in a while, I'll stumble, stumble across a good find, but this may be one of the ugliest things. <laughs> the coolest and ugliest. Yeah. I think it's one of a kind. Yeah. Yeah, that's for sure. Got that. Never seen another one like it. Got the old. In all, my, in all my travels. Yeah. Oh no, I don't. I don't think that. I don't think there should be another one like it. <laughs> he even put the steps to me in the wrong place because I had struggled getting in. As he put the steps yeah. back here, and you had to get in over there. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming it's probably not running or anything like that, or it's not running. No, sir. Yeah, it, it, it's just like that. Just saying. So. Well, it. Winch up on a trailer or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. Roll around. Well, unfortunately, I'm definitely interested in it. I don't. Yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> it almost looks like a plane the way that cab's nailed in. First thing that struck me that's about an airplane. Yeah, it needs some wings or something to come out and hook them up to that tank. Then you could spray something, I guess. Well, you know where you'd need to be at on it price-wise? Oh, might be an offer on it. I know something like this is hard to price. <laughs> the one man's junk's another man's treasure. That definitely falls in this category for sure. Uh, I don't know. I told Dad, I just not a, there's definitely not going to be a market on this, but I'm not going to go anywhere else and find another one that I can try to, <laughs> try to offer them. Anywhere would be a good advertisement piece for somebody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'd be neat to have it set out front. I'd love to see if we could get it running and driving, though. And I, I think it would drive. Turn some heads. The motor's free. I have I have turned motor, rolled the motor by hand. So roll right. The Volkswagens are bulletproof. So. Yeah. Well, I don't know. You're not going to hurt me. <laughs> it's one of those things I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably going to buy and be stuck with, but... Uh, that don't hurt my feelings either, so. Uh, would you take 500 bucks for it? I'm hoping that it'll run. <laughs> I'll take 650 for it. 650? Yes, sir. That'll work for me, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna argue on that. Like I said, I ain't. You could almost get that much out of scrap metal. <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> Probably so. It looks like, like it weighs about 5,000 pounds. I, I think it's made out of just solid. <laughs> Yeah. The man was thinking it was going to last forever, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's really tough. Yeah. There might be a good epoxy. Some good welds and some bad welds. <laughs> it looks to me like some two different people welded it. Yeah. Yeah, that happens quite a bit. Right. Well, cool, man. Yeah, I'll go grab some cash. If that works for you, that works yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah. I'll, I'll right. load it up. All right. Make a game plan on getting it loaded up and move it to Bogota and see what we can do with okay. it. So. All right, great deal. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh -huh.
So there you go. This is supposedly the work of a master inventor here. <laughs> so uh, it, it, like you saw, it has a 1600 Volkswagen air-cooled motor back here. Uh, the motor's not locked up, but we haven't messed with it any further than that. We basically loaded it on the trailer, brought it back to the shop. Uh, we were going to typically just film this uh, episode-wise, and we thought, hey man, it'd be kind of cool just to try to do a live style at this. Uh, this could either go really well or it could be a complete catastrophe. So we don't know if this car is going to, whatever you want to call it, it's going to cooperate with us. As well as our technology, you just never know with it. Uh, right now we're just going to dig in, kind of show you guys what we do. We check the fluids in it. This being air-cooled, there's no radiator to have to worry about. So basically just checking the oil, uh, see if we can get a hot battery on it, see if it'll turn over and see what we got. I just got to thinking, this actually is a, uh, a bug sprayer. Oh yeah. Looks <laughs> yeah. like we got plenty of oil. Yeah, good black oil. Good man. black, yes. Good and used. Like I said, it's not, it's not locked up. They turn over easy. Oh yeah. So, I don't know that I've ever had a Volkswagen that has been locked up, but not saying that they won't, but I right. guess we've just been extremely blessed on that avenue. But That's right, yep. All the old fuel lines are dry rotted on it, as well as all the old spark plug wires and stuff like that, everything to be expected, so. Old battery. Yeah, I don't think that battery's gonna turn it over. No. I was looking on it, it's a Sears brand there, so I don't <laughs> know how long ago it would have been that Sears uh, actually had their brand of battery, uh, but I'm sure it's... Probably falls into the antique uh, category. Yeah. Yeah, got the generator and the alternator <laughs> there, so. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll look and see. I don't know what they've got as far as turning it over. He's got switches and all kinds of stuff inside here. Right. <laughs> so this is actually an old Volkswagen cab. Super small in here, they nailed it in just for a one-seater here. But he's got little levers and toggle switches and the stereo, I don't know where the speakers would have been. Uh, several, all kinds of pedals, but I don't know what would crank what. It does have an ignition switch. So we've got an ignition switch here, but it's, it's actually on the left-hand side, so I don't know if the column's in there. Upside down, backwards oh, or whatever. Or what, but yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so I guess it's at least just got one. If that turns it over, then we won't have to worry about messing with the solenoid on the starter. But right. if so, we know what to do. We'll run a wire down to the solenoid and kind of show them how to do that. But I guess if you want to go grab a battery, we'll throw a battery on there and kind of see what she does. You ready? So just to kind of give you guys a rundown of all y'all that have jumped on here recently. Uh, we're completely live here, so we're trying something we've never done around the shop. Uh, we're going to see if we can get this Volkswagen tractor, truck, whatever you want to call it, up and running again. Uh, just to kind of show you all how that's going to work, we actually got several different cameras set up. There's obviously this one right here where you're seeing me right here. Uh, we've got another camera set back up here at the rear here. And then we've got this TV set up over here, so as y'all are commenting in, uh, we'll try to read up on these comments as they come in. Uh, but we're also going to be focusing a lot on trying to get this truck up and running. So bear with us. Uh, we've got to fight with batteries uh, and all this kind of, this is like a mad sci scientist project and we don't know what we're doing. We're just trying to make it happen. So I've got my little sister over here. She's our filmer. She's the person switching the angles and stuff for us. So hopefully this will all work out. Maybe it'll run. Uh, maybe it won't. Uh, all in all together, we thought it'd be kind of cool just to see if we could even try to do it, see how it works out. So I guess that's what we're about to do here. Is it battery? Yeah, the uh, the poster backwards, but I think it'll work. We can yeah. just get that one out and Yeah. Yeah. If you can reach out and Yeah, I don't know there'd be a date on here or what. Sears fifty five. You'd think there'd be a date on it somewhere. <laughs> that probably is the date. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, as long as them tables are long enough, it should. Which I, I noticed the red one's the yeah. ground. Pretty sure, because it was. Yeah, they've got the, they had the red one as the ground there. Okay. Let me get this ground first.
You got the positive there in the front? Yeah. Yeah. No sparky? No sparky, no fire. I guess that's good in a way. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'll see if that see ignition switch yep. works anyways. Clear? Yeah. Yeah? Yep. So next ignition switch works. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over a little bit, let it kind of pump some oil around. All righty. Turn it over good. Yeah, we blowed a little bit of trash out of the exhaust, not much. But. Really? <laughs> yeah. Well. It spins really good. Yeah, good. That's what a good hot battery will yep. do. Uh, figure, go ahead and take this off. Let's try just to put some fuel in it and see what it does. I doubt it's going to try, but make sure there's nothing down in there. I ain't even tried to. I don't know if the thought, if the pedal's even going to work right. or not, but we'll give her a little drink. I'm sure it's probably not getting spark like it needs to, but heck, you never know. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Here we go. No. Nope. Nothing, huh? Nothing. Not even a boop. Well, I don't know if any of them wires or any of them switches, could, they could have had a kill switch on it, so. True. I guess if I check here at the cool, worst case scenario, we'll run a wire just straight from the battery over to the cool. Right. But we need to make sure we're getting power to the cool, because if we're not, you know, start there and then... I mean, that's where it starts at and works the rest of the way, so. Right. I'll go grab a voltmeter and see if we can check Alrighty. it there. Yeah, everything seems to be free on it, though. I mean, as far as yeah. nothing's hard stuck. Yeah. You want to check it and I'll go turn the key on, or? Yep. I say, is it showing power already? Because the switch could be on. Not much, huh? Not much. I'll go try it. We're on. Well, now it went to zero. Really? Yep. Huh. Let me try these switches. Okay. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Still nothing? Still nothing. No? Still nothing. Yeah, there's wires pulled loose. Oh, uh, let me trace this back. See where it goes. I'm go up under, see if I can see where it runs, maybe. See my hand? Just a second. Yeah. It feels yeah, yeah. like it's got all, like it's burred up, like it's been rubbing yeah. against something. Yeah, it looks like it's, I don't know what cable that is. It runs through there, but it looks like it's rubbed. Clutch yeah, cable it's, rubbed against it, probably. Yep, that's what it is, clutch. Yeah, it's, it's completely in two almost down here. Let me see if I can. Get some power down here. Need some tape or anything? Or? Yeah, if you've got some, I'll, have some. I hate for it to find its way back up against something. I don't know if it rubbed through or if a rat's got it or what, but either way it's... Not as oily as most Volkswagen motors I've seen. Right. Yep. Such a strange setup on this. <laughs> Pretty neat. So we got the motor turning over and everything. Uh, that was pretty simple. All we had to do was put a new battery on it. So the ignition switch was actually functional on this. Not sure yet if the, if the coil wire is hooked into the ignition switch or not, but we found a bad spot that runs to the coil that's kind of keeping it from happening there. Uh, it still may not work. We may have to try to just bypass that and just go straight to the battery. The uh, thing I hate about that is, you know, you can't kill it inside the vehicle if you need to. So hopefully that'll work fix that problem. We'll check the voltage here at it, see if we're getting a little juice back at it here now. If it does, 
Then we know we're getting a fire at that, and we'll pour a little gas in it and try it again, I guess. <laughs> I'll try these switches first. Nothing? No, nothing. No. Oh, here we go. Something happened. Is I hear it? it clicking back here, yep. Okay. Well, it's hooked into the ignition switch, Sam. That's good. Maybe this guy did know what he's doing. <laughs> well, let's try it again then. Got all this it's stuff up here. Yeah, she does crank, falls off. So we we'll want to not if if we can get it going bypass you know the yeah old tank because I'm yeah, sure that I, if it's that bad yeah. on the outside it's probably, it's probably clogged up yeah. all completely. Yep. I guess if you want to give her a little drink, we'll see. I what see a little does. bare spot in the plug wire there too, so it could be. Oh yeah. Here we go. All ready. Oh. Uh oh. That easy. See if you can keep it running. Okay. Ready? Ready. <laughs> this will not be that easy. Uh-uh. Blowing out all kinds of stuff. Huh. <laughs> like I could feel it hitting my wrist. I didn't know where it was coming from. Well, that was easy enough. Yeah, that was too easy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a scary thing. Though. Let's uh, let's get that carb cleaner and just see if we can get it to run a little bit longer and see if it'll rev and everything. Dirt like mud or dirt dauber probably. <laughs> Alrighty. Just wanted to idle it. Um, yeah, I'll, so if you can just keep it running, I'll come back okay. here and we'll try to see if it'll rev up. Well, I guess I could try the throttle down here, but just, we'll see. Ready? Yeah. I think it will. Well, <laughs> shot out all kinds of stuff, ain't it? Yep. Let's try to see if we can get some fuel. Just you know, hopefully the float's not hung on it. Right. We'll just set a tank up somewhere and see. Let it gravity okay. feed down in there. Uh, set this off somewhere. Don't want to dent the truck. <laughs> Well, that went a lot easier than I thought it would. Uh, so, so far, I feel like this video has been a partial success anyways. Uh, we're going to try to hook up our, uh, I don't know, faithful gas tank we use on almost all of our runs. We're, we're always trying to just gravity feed stuff because the fuel pump never works. And it's just, it's just kind of easier for us just to set it someplace where, you know, let gravity work for you and send the fuel down there to it. So that's what we're about to do right now is just try to hook it into this carburetor. Um, it kind of seemed like it wanted to idle with just spraying the fluid in there, but once we get some, uh, some gas just sitting down in that bowl, maybe she'll take off and run and it might be able to even move it today. So we'll see. I'll let you take that off of that. Okay. Right there. You need this hose clamp or? No, I've got one here. I don't know. You may want to go with back Oops. with everything. He had going here. <laughs> yeah, probably do. Love those old hoses. Hoses that turn your hands black. Yeah, and that's get it. Next thing it'll be all on my face, and 
Yeah, and it won't wash off for three days. <laughs> Watch it start pumping fuel up. Let me uh, get you to hold this down low so I don't... Think you got a long enough hold? Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to get a running start. Normally we don't have enough hose to do anything, yeah. so it's well, I'll add it, a little extra. I can put it up in the cab. When we finished the scout, I thought that's that's gonna get some more hose put on it just so we have plenty next time. We wanna run it from the back, we'll run it from the back. <laughs> I'm not real sure, you know, there's hoses running here and there on this. I don't, you know, I don't know if they were spraying, I mean, obviously they were spraying something. I right. mean, they had a big old tank on it, but I don't know spraying it straight out the back or what they were doing. You think just set it? Yeah, I think, yeah, I think we can set it back over there. Somehow or another, I think. Yeah. We can do it. Let's see if it's. Yep. I hear it squirting or anything. I don't hear it. Uh, you may have to tap around on that. Right. Surely that thing's let that fluid come back, climb back up here, huh? To get yeah, I would think so. Yeah, surely. And so you can pull it loose just to make sure we're not fighting an air trapped in it. Except so that hole is long. <laughs> we may not made it down that far yet. Yeah, oh, we yeah. Did. Yep. It may not like this new gas, it, ethanol. Uh, like I said, I don't hear it. I don't hear it squirting. No, it might be able to spray it and it'll yep. take. Let me keep, I should have brought that tool cart over there, but. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. I trust that belt staying yeah, on. Yeah, I know it. That's yeah. crazy. I'm gonna see if the throttle works inside okay. there. Okay. Yeah, trying to anyways. Yeah, it might need some WD-40 or something. It's a little fumey, ain't it? You can tell it needs them plugs. Yeah. Yeah, but no telling how long it's been since you've gone for it. I ain't smoking. Well, <laughs> I don't know if that's smoke or dirt. I think it's dirt, yeah. <laughs> Wait for a mouse to blow yeah. out. Shoot out of it. Oops. I thought it was. <laughs> It's still peppering pretty good. Whatever's up in there is still blowing out. Huh. Well, some bugs disturbed up in there now. I see them running back and forth. I'm going to try to put it in gear and see if all this stuff does, does anything. Yep. Get up in here. Yeah, don't die. Don't let it die. <laughs> uh. I'm assuming this is the clutch. Hey, stand clear too, though. <laughs> all right, I'm in gear. About to try, all right? You clear? I'm clear. Yep, we're going forward. <laughs> Backwards. Yeah. Backwards too. I don't even see a brake pedal though. Do I? Well. I don't know about brakes. <laughs> There's uh 
There's two there's two pedals in there, so I don't know if they had a brake set up for each it may have, yeah. Each wheel maybe. Surely well yeah, I guess so probably. And then there's also this little lever thing here. Can you see what that's doing? Oh it's it's not hooked to anything, but Nothing. it's moving this right here. Huh. I, they may have had something back here that was a belt driven that because that's yeah. what these holes probably went to. Hmm. It's hard to say. Maybe the pump may have been back here. Right. Well, <laughs> some things just happen to you. <laughs> How is our oil look? About the same. Yep. I think she's running good enough to move her around. You yep. could definitely, you know, pull the plugs, clean the points, all that good stuff, but. I mean, it's idling, so. so. I've seen you drive them when they was running a lot worse than this. Yeah. I guess we, if we run the hose, we might be able to run it through here, maybe, kind of keep it from, well, it might even be able to stay right there. Yeah. We're going to put that breather on it or just set it to the I'll side? just leave it off for right now. Okay. Well, when we started this project, I have to say I never thought that it was going to be up and running this fast. Uh, you can't ever tell with these old Volkswagens. Sometimes they can be contrary. You know, you've got valve problems. Uh, always have to clean the points, it seems like. Uh, but this one right here has popped off pretty easy. So I think we, well, we had to put a battery on it, uh, run a fuel tank to it, a bad coil wire that had gotten eaten on. But other than that, all this scientific mess right here with the chains and the drive shafts, um, it's at least working in first gear and reverse, which I can't imagine if you'd want to go much faster than that with the way this three-wheeled setup is anyways. So I guess right now what we're going to try to do is get everything where we can shut it back down here. I'm going to try to see if we can pull it outside the shop and at least make it around the, the shop yard here, make a block or something like that. Don't know how we're going to do that. Honestly, I didn't think we would get this far. So we're going to try. I don't even know where my GoPro battery is at, so we might lose my GoPro. But if we do that, we'll just kind of take a little break. Uh, my sister will switch out the batteries and stuff like that. Uh, so hang on. How's my battery look? You still got pretty close to 50%, 50 percent, like 47 percent. So we got about 50 percent. I think that's going to be good enough for me to try to pull this around. If y'all wanted to try to move around the cameras or something like that whenever I get outside there, uh, maybe they can film me. Not even sure how far the mics are going to reach or anything like this. <laughs> so this is completely just, we're just trying this out. So uh, bear with us. Hopefully this works. If so, if y'all enjoy it, we'll try to do some more in the future. But yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with this thing. Bought it because it was just so weird, so cool to me, so ugly. Uh, but knowing that it runs, uh, I don't know what we'll do with it. <laughs> I've got it run over here, so it's it should be out of the way. I think we're fine. Okay. As long as it don't I, I may want to make sure you crank up before we shut it. So. Yeah. But I think it should be. Well, I don't know how that's going to close yet. As long as you don't pinch it, which it doesn't. It's not really pinching it, but it might when it's flopping around. Uh, I think it'll be all right. Surely, you think? I think so. <laughs> The weight of that one, you probably better shut Put that one first. first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll try it. So as long as I have room to get out. Uh, maybe a lot of back and forth. Yeah, back and forth. So if you want to cut that cable. <laughs> we uh, put some tape across here to keep people from uh, trying to walk in on the live video. So Ribbon cutting. <laughs> All right, y'all holler at me if something goes haywire on this end, and I'll. Alrighty. Uh, I don't have no brakes, so hopefully I don't roll too far. I'm just gonna try to make it around the block or so. Okay. Well, not the block, but the yard. It is so hard to get in here, and <laughs> the shifter's right between my legs. Ugh. Honestly, this gas pedal. You... Yeah, the gas pedal needs a little tweaking. I pushed it and it went down. <laughs> it ain't coming back up. Oh, yeah. Oh, it went. Yeah, do we got any penetrating oil? Should be. Let me look real quick. We got some oil. 
We haven't been doing a very good job on reading the comments, and sorry about that. Um, <laughs> so y'all seen the caution tape there. Uh, Jim Seal says, love the format. This thing looks like fun, Ronnie Bailey. Uh, need some air in the front tire. I'm scared to put any <laughs> air in that front tire because where, I, where the bottom of it is, I don't know, there's no tread on it. So. To, well, you're so yeah, that thing probably comments. definitely uh, needs some attention for sure, but I don't think I'm gonna try to put air in it. Yeah, it needs a lot more than air in the tire. So over 450 people watching, uh, Joe Teeter said. So we appreciate that. Uh, this was something we wanted to try to do where someone could watch it live and enjoy it. And hopefully later on, you know, kind of get the same, same feel as our episodes out of it, uh, where you can watch it. And it's still kind of a Will It Run style video. I mean, uh, obviously not every one of them is going to go like this. We know that because we've done several Will It Runs. Sometimes they do go really easy, and sometimes you just spend lots of time, have to buy parts. You never know what's going to go with them. Uh, I'm really happy with the way this one has turned out. Dad can get this gas pedal working where when I'm backing up, I don't push it down and it stays revved. I'll feel a lot better about it. So, no car. Uh, Monster Rust said no car wash for this one. Uh, I'm. I would. Yeah, I would. I would typically take it over there, but I don't think that we're, my GoPro is definitely not going to reach that far. I know my mic won't. So maybe if we can get out here, uh, hopefully y'all can still see me, and I'll make it. Hopefully I make it back to the shop, anyways. And uh, we can kind of close this video out. Any luck? Yeah, I think it's going. You can check it. I'll try it. It Keep felt pretty good. I think we pumped it enough. It's good and yeah, flooded Yeah, it should be now. flooded. Then we'll have to start back over. Uh, it tries to hang, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a go. If it stays re revved up, I'll just kill it. it. Okay. <laughs> All right, you may have to help me kind of guide you. Guide me, yeah. I'm gonna pull forward and then kind of back up, and just make sure I don't hit anything. Now I gotta try to get back in here. Probably wouldn't be easier if I took that out. Give me a little bit more room. Ouch. Yeah, this was not made for tall people. Yeah. Pretty cool though, I can put an arm on each, <laughs> each door. I think I'm out of gear. I'm gonna try to crank it. Ah. It hangs up just a little bit, but I can lift it back up with my foot, so. Okay. <laughs> I just want to be here in front, keep from hitting the thing, just in uh, case. Yeah, I'll kill it if I get if okay. it gets too crazy. Oh, I think it'll pop a wheelie. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you should have been up there. All right, I'm going backwards. Yeah. You think I'll clear that door? Height wise, yeah. You, you, yeah. No, I mean like. With with this fender or whatever you want to call it. It is right now. It doesn't look like I can't see have nothing. An issue here. Just keep it's keep tight. turning. Okay, keep going. Those things are low gear. Yeah. I think you're gonna be okay. Keep turning like you are. When I get outside, you can try to move that tripod maybe and see if okay. They can... Keep turning. There's nothing. Behind me, right? Right, right. Okay. You're fine. Okay, straighten up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make it go for it. I'll wait to see if you can get the camera move. I think. These orange windows. Smoking a little bit now. Okay, we're going. I'm just gonna try to make it around the down to the road to the stop sign and back. All right.
Ooh. Ooh. Maybe you shouldn't do that. Huh? They're smoking just a little bit. Feel like I need to start me up. It does look like some kind of bug. Come on. <laughs> Bring her back in. Crazy. <laughs> cool. It is. Get out. Uh. <laughs> Makes it kind of nice to be able to get out. Yeah, I'll side get out there. passenger side. <laughs> well, I feel like this was pretty much a success. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, they're not always going to go that way. God definitely gave us favor on this one. I'm super happy to see this thing up and running. When we bought it, I didn't really care if it would run or not just because it was something that we wanted to set outside to grab some attention. And uh, it'll definitely grab a lot more attention going down the road. So with that being said, thanks for hanging out for the, with this video. We'll try to keep improving on it. Uh, we put together a little short video of an upcoming, uh, a little short clip of an upcoming video we have coming out uh, within the week or so. So we're about to shoot that to y'all. Hope y'all enjoy it and see you on the next one. <laughs> That's a beauty, ain't it? It is. Everywhere I went, everybody's <laughs> going on and on about it. We try to guess what it is. <laughs> yes, sir. We'll get her unloaded here and see what I can't do with it. Right. Like I said, it definitely belongs in y'all's collection, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.